Public drinking water suppliers deliver safe drinking water to all buildings and facilities. They are required to meet or exceed the Federal Safe Drinking Water Act. The question you should ask before you consume any water is, do you have a water management program for this building or facility? And do you have the water tested? The following will demonstrate how safe drinking water can easily become contaminated. Think before you drink. Water is no longer a dry subject. Your hospital operates on a great volume of water. From sinks and laundry machines, to boilers, cooling towers, and dialysis equipment. Water reaches many types of equipment and is heavily dependent upon. This water is carried through your building by the water pressure from the city main, pushing the water up through your pipes and in the highest parts of your building. This system runs perfectly for the most part, but some things can occur out of your control. Let's take for instance, the office building down the way from your hospital catches fire. Their tragedy can quickly become yours and your patients. As they fight the fire, the water pressure in the city main is reduced, and the pressure that once kept everything running properly is absent causing the soapy water in this half-full bucket to siphon up through the hose and back into your fresh water line. Likewise occurs in the slop sinks and the laundry machines, and in this cooling tower, sending out toxic, chemically treated water into your drinking water. The dirty water from this autoclave and laboratory equipment, plus the chemicals from this x-ray developing machine, also flow backwards into your pipes. In the morgue, Hoses used in the morgue table draw up formaldehyde and biologically contaminated fluids into your system to join with the lethal levels of chromium and descaling chemicals in the water coming from your boilers as they both travel out to mix with the many other drawn-in contaminants and pollutants. The city has taken measures to protect itself from the toxins now backflowing into your clean water lines with a backflow prevention device and as the fire is suppressed, the water pressure is restored. When the pressure returns to your systems, the toxins are pushed up into all the lines of your hospital. Contaminated water is pumped into the autoclave used to sterilize surgical equipment. Contaminated water pumps through sinks used by surgeons to prepare for surgery. And the delicate filters of the dialysis equipment is overpowered by the massive amounts of lethal chemicals and biological contaminants to be sent directly into the bodies of your patients. The dangerous contaminants spread through every piece of equipment in your hospital, but this dangerous situation can be avoided easily by installing backflow prevention devices like the city uses to protect itself. You can be assured that these toxins don't reach your patients. With these small additions, the fire down the street, or any pressure loss is no worry. No contaminants are siphoned back into your clean water pipes, and your water system is kept safe and clean. You have enough to worry about in the running of your hospital. Protect yourself, your staff, and your patients from the dangers in your own water system. Safe drinking water is a common item we all take for granted. We turn on the faucet and out comes clean, safe drinking water. Federal, state, and local laws have been enacted to prevent safe drinking water from being contaminated. These laws are currently not being enforced by the governmental agencies, as according to the law, when public drinking water enters a building, it then becomes the responsibility of the owners or managers of the building to protect the drinking water from any and all cross-connections. The laws state that they must have a continuing management program to protect against cross-connections that would contaminate or pollute the drinking water.